Capolista Lora, da, 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 da Capolista Lora, da, 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 um, da, 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 <laughs> <laughs> check, one, two, three. <laughs> I still can't open it. <laughs> I'm still struggling. <laughs> How do you open it? Oh shit, never mind. <laughs> it was pretty simple. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are the bench with the voice and we are back. Today is a freaky threesome. I am one of your hosts. My name is Eric. My name is Marco with the red eyes. <laughs> Yo, what are you Targaryen now, bro? I am, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Eddie. And I uh, thank you for being on the sh- uh, being on with us today. Um Obviously, no Ricky, no Edgar, no Diego today, but we still have some some fun shit to talk about. I, th- I think they're still at Winterfell protecting the castle. So. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're at the Night's Watch right now. They're protecting us um, barely. Uh, it's probably yeah, we went th- to the Iron Islands to stay safe. Those, yeah, for, those, are, yeah, those are gonna be the <laughs> last guys I would ask to protect us. So, <laughs> uh, but I don't know. I feel like I feel like Diego's like Tyrion, bro. He's just the mastermind. Yeah, he is. He, he's a he's a, he, he's the brains. We gotta protect him. We have to like you know. Put him in the, in, the, in the, what's it called, the scythe? No. Oh, uh, the crypts? The crypts, the crypts, the crypts. Uh, yeah, I'll be the yeah. first one in there, in the corner. Um, <laughs> this is the second try right now. You'll be next to uh, Tormund Giants Bane and shit, For, bro. Yeah, exactly what I would I need, I need some giant smoke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you had to watch Game of Thrones oh. to get that reference. Um, guys, we are sorry we have been, you know, changing our recording dates. It's been kind of hectic with the holidays. Happy Easter, by the way, for those of you who celebrate. And Game of Thrones. Yep. Game of Thrones has came back into our lives. It's the last season. Also, spring started. Come on. Spring started. Spring Yo, started. Yeah, it's been raining. Riding. I, I, I got a bicycle and shit. I can barely ride. Yo, I saw, I saw you on your first day. That shit was funny as hell. Son. Yo, yesterday I did um, I did almost nine miles. Damn. Shit. Yeah. I rode all the way down to where Eclipse is. That's good, though, man. That's really yeah. good. That's a great workout, man. We're going to have to... You should record yourself next time you do it. I know, right? <laughs> nah, I, I, st- I, st- I stood off. <laughs> I still don't have a um. I still don't have a phone mount, so. Oh. A phone mount, okay. Yeah, I gotta get a phone mount. Uh, but yeah, Eddie, where can they hear us? They, you guys can find us at iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play. Uh, just look for us, Benchwarmers FC. And you can leave us a comment and let us know what you want to hear in future episodes through Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Benchwarmers FC One. And if you want to watch us, you can do it on YouTube at Benchwarmers FC TV. And if you want to ask us questions or just talk shit, uh, just hit us up at bench that benchwarmers dot fc dot com. Damn, I think that last was, time was it was the perfect one. <laughs> I, I thought that was pretty good. Uh, uh, I kind of stepped at the end, but <laughs> <laughs> we, we've all done it. And we, like I said pre- pre- previously, we used to re- we pre-recorded these. It sh- took forever. Yeah, it would be here for a minute just trying to get these done. And Edgar would be doing some random, random ass accents, ass. like it would sound like a a Mexican Hilarious, baby fucking for funny some as hell, reason. But took us uh, forever too yeah it was it was fun it was I remember fun. for my uh for my speech class i had to walk around with a piece of paper just just fucking talking to people man that's awkward first of all i don't like talking in front of people so that made it worse <laughs> <laughs> that's awkward yeah just like hey 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 there <laughs> Hi. Let, me, let me read this off for you <laughs> yeah, it was so weird so obviously you guys are wondering what this podcast is about because we're just talking gibberish now it's about soccer football footy what do you want to call it is it's it? a bit of game of thrones <laughs> game of thrones all game of thrones references uh and some DraftKings watch out insides. <laughs> spoilers in three two <laughs> Protect ghosts. Giant smoke. <laughs> oh, yeah, for real. I saw ghosts. I was like, Ace, look, it's ghosts. <laughs> as if he's in enough. Uh, Ace is my dog, by the way. Uh, so, guys, a little warm-up action for you today. What we have for you is... Uh, I have like three baby ghosts. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> um, we got EPL recap and the best of the rest because, let's be honest, and has any, did anything else really happen this weekend? Yeah. The top four becomes even a harder top four. All right, we'll get, in, we'll get into <laughs> that. Nobody wants a top four position. Fuck it, it's getting TPL. <laughs> Nobody does want it. <laughs> the, the, the top two position, the, the race for the for the league continues between Man City, but it looks, damn it, but it looks like the race to stay in top four it looks like everybody wants to drop out of it. Yo, I think everybody except for Chelsea lost points off of this. I mean, they lost. They technically lost points. Well, I mean, they didn't. They, they didn't. But they, they kind of did. But they should have walked away with the win. I think we all should have. Timothy walked away with the win. Yeah, I mean, yep. so let's start with the first game, uh, Man City versus Spurs, because this is definitely one of the games that uh, had all of our attentions because it's going to be a complete uh, game changer. Oh, I didn't say kickoff yet. Kickoff. All right, back into the, back into the game. Uh, now we're going to kick off. So, yeah, <laughs> this game was expected to be, you know, the big title changer. Um, Spurs had to win this or to even draw it to kind of – 
gave Liverpool like all right the final push so for you guys to get the title. Not um, even us for themselves. Mm, now they they put themselves mm, in a harder position. Good. Well, good. yeah, I know you don't care. <laughs> good. Um, <laughs> but you guys didn't even <laughs> take advantage of it. We did. We did. We'll, we'll, we'll get to we'll that. Get into that. <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get into that. <laughs> but uh, you know, you're right. Uh, this is a good push for them to to continue top staying four, yeah. in top four. Um, they lost one zero. How'd you guys see the game? Uh, I, I I thought it was a pretty pretty well fought game. Pretty fun I think to watch. it was a well fought game, but I think Spurs lost more than to, I, even themselves? even they lost uh, the game. I think they that's a game they could have won because they could have won. Ederson came up big. He, he came up big. He but had, against two, he had like two two top class saves from off of Sonaldo, bro. Bro, Son, but yeah, he, that that's the player I think we should be talking more about is Son. How He's good? Nice. He, he should win the PFA. Bro, you think? Him? I, I think I he, mean, uh, he kind of came, honestly, in, he came it, in late to the season. He did it. It was like it's all season long. It depends who wins at the end. If City wins the the league title, then... Um, Aguero. Or Sterling. No, no, Sterling. At, but if Liverpool win it, they'll be Van Dyke. But... Not your money? Nah, I think Van Dyke. Okay. Van Dyke changed everything. Yeah. But... Yeah, if it wasn't for that, yo, just give that shit to Ronaldo, bro. He's, but then, then again, I'm putting like Champions League performances into the EPL and kind of getting all that shit. Come, what the fuck is that noise? Do you guys hear that? I I do. That's weird as hell. So we have some. <laughs> Sorry. T- it sounds like somebody's like <laughs> farting on the mic right now. Like, it's just crazy. They got a little fire. <laughs> but we don't it's know where it's coming crazy. from. So if you guys hear this on your car. Or in your headphones, I'm sorry about that. It wasn't one of us. It wasn't we one promise of us. you. It yeah, was, yeah. Was I would admit it was me. You know that. Yeah. I say, yeah, <laughs> Everybody I say it with pride. It. Everybody has heard it. I say it with pride. Uh, but yeah, you were saying? I, did, I yeah, said, yeah, yeah, what the fuck is that noise? <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's like a fart or something. What the fuck? I think, I think it's the world trying to tell <laughs> us to just it's stop. It's me. It's sick. No, you know what it is? It's the world telling us, stop talking good about Spurs and start talking shit, bro, because... <clears throat> All right, fuck Spurs. You fucking lost one zero piece of shit. So, what do you think? You're winning against City? Oh, jokes on you. You're not that good. You're never bottling it up all the time. Nah, and you bottled it up they, again. They, yeah, they had chances to win this game. At least tie it. All right, so this kind of... Uh, this Well, there's one more hurdle for City to jump, to, uh, to, to finish, uh, I guess, cross the finish line. But before we get into that game... I do want to ask you guys, if City win the league this year, if because it's a big if, we saw like so a couple games ago. What's next for them? Like next season, are they gonna be in another uh, league contender again, and maybe put all their eggs in the Champions League basket, or what's what? Three things gonna happen. I mean, this is another. This is it's gonna be another repeat season if it is for them again. I don't know because, like, on top of my head, I can't even think of anybody Manchester City need to sign. Their team is stacked, pretty stacked, pretty stacked and and right? depth is, and deep. They need top class defenders. Yeah, Laporte but, was a clear example of why not. Why you kiss but Man City don't practice defending, so like, they don't. Yeah, what do you? We need defenders. So like, for? Why are you gonna spend so much money on like a top class defender if it's, that's not what you're gonna use? Like they could go out, spend the money on Kuo Bali and shit, who's a beast as defender, top five in the, in the world, but. He's not gonna. They're, they're not gonna, gonna use his talents. Him. Yeah, yeah. Right, they're gonna cover like, him into a what? player that he's not as a, a passer. But like John Stones is a perfect player for him. He's a good defender and he's a good passer. I could have said. Not... I saw he said John Stones. I think he said Stone, John Stones. <laughs> I heard it too. John Stones. John Stones. <laughs> I heard John Snow, but I just I think. It, also I mean, he's right around the north. So. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like John, like he's not. He's not the best at passing. He's not the best at defending. He's just a good player for City. And he, and he, he fits the role very yeah, well. Yeah, he fits yeah. the role very well. Uh, what do you think is next for City next year? Like they want all Champions League or League again? If I were Pep, and if I hear shit like what you say, that like he's just a league, which technically he's proven us time and time again that he's only a league coach. Uh-huh. Come on. He's only done it with only that with no, Barcelona. I, 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 I was going to say I'm not going to convince you. You're the I one that says say it. it. But if he starts hearing it outside of like you're not you're I don't think you're the only one that says it out there. If he starts hearing it, he might want I, to I, go for it. I don't think he's heard the fact. I don't think he's heard like you know people say he's a league coach. I think he's heard people say that he can't do it without Fragiola. Messi. All that stuff. Fragiola. But it but it is insane. All right. So like aside from the Champions League part, it's insane how Pep Guardiola goes into a league and just dominates. Yeah. Like it's insane. He went into. Uh, to the Bundesliga, 
destroyed. They, they won by like 26 points. Yeah. Uh, fucking last season, he got 100 points in the EPL, first time ever. Yeah. So it's like, it's just insane. Like, his longevity, he, then, to keep the team and uh, performing at for so consistent for a long period of time, yeah, don't get me wrong, he's phenomenal at it. But I just don't see why he can't just figure out those two games, those two legged games to move on yeah, to the next he round. Can't, he can't. He, like, can, he can out, figure it out for the whole season, but he can't figure it out for two games. Knockout, knockout is not his forte. Uh, that's, I guess the pressure. Yeah, I guess it is the pressure. Maybe and the pressure. Don't have Messi to bail him out. I mean, Messi is Messi. I mean, he can bail anybody out. To be honest. Don't have Messi to bail him out. He I think he's bailing out Valverde right now. To be honest, too. I think so. Because I mean, I without, think he is. without I, him, I honestly, God, I think he is. Without him, but like, who's the problem? Like, let's say I don't want to get into the conversation, uh, but if Valverde leaves, who's coming next? We already fell in the rabbit hole, bro. Yeah, we're in the rabbit hole now. Where's he going? He wants to get <laughs> but no, nah, yeah, uh, maybe Pep does feel feel the pressure when it comes to the knockout games. Who knows? It's the thing is that if he doesn't do it with this team that is so stacked, who and what, so much what, money with what team can he actually do it? I think his like his su- his substitutions aren't like they're not good. Like yeah. he brings in Sane like way too late, dude. Um, he. Nice. He, well, he well, left La Porte. We're, we're well, getting I, 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 I said, I'm not talking about Champions League. I forgot. I'm not talking about Champions League anymore. Um, <laughs> so, we're getting a little sidetracked now. <laughs> this leads into the next game with the big, big clash coming up. Uh, City going to Old Trafford to face United. This, I mean, United are, are at a crossroads right now because either they Yo, tie so, or beat City. Show sorry at the uh, at the wheel, bro. Oh uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> the wheels are falling off pretty the fast. Are falling off Yo. pretty fast, bro. That's Stampy Charles, bro. For real. <laughs> I mean, what do you what do you think is gonna happen? What how do you think they're gonna are they gonna go out there all out to get the draw or the win, or are they just gonna just play it as it goes? Because I mean, at the end of, at the end of the tunnel, whatever they. They bring to the table this game is I think is gonna be term of the season. They have, I mean, in my opinion, they have to go all out. <clears throat> not, not so much for for you know like the whole Manchester derby shit like that. It's like <coughs> everybody, the the people who are fighting for top four, top four, well, the top, the last two spots in reality, yeah. like they all drop points. Like it's up for grabs. Spurs is just. Fucking shit up right now. But top, I mean, um, but the thing about it, as a United perspective, like, if you beat City or tie City, you're gifting the league to, to Liverpool. Well, Liverpool still has their. their uh, let's assume right, City all, and Liverpool haunted, are consistent. I'm haunted by Crystal Palace, fucking 2013. All right, okay, all right. but now, let's say let's say that their consistency stays as it is because Liverpool have been fairly, been, they've been looking a lot more informed lately. Um, uh, City, obviously, our city. So let's assume that they win the last couple of games, the, the last stretch of games. This United game is going to determine what happens. So give the league to Liverpool? Yeah, but then they're sacrificing Or stay top champions. four. Or, yeah, or exactly, fall out of Champions. They, 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 they so would, lose, lose. Yeah, they would fall out of Champions League. They would lose the money. They will lose all that money, all the Champions League money. They, then Lord knows if they're going to uh, be able to um, hold on to Pogba, Lukaku, well, uh, Lukaku, yes. Uh, uh, maybe not. So, so Marshall, before we, all those players, because they're not gonna have the money to keep them. I think we should jump into the, into that into that game next because uh, there's a lot of talk about much around that. So before we get into that actual game, how do you see this uh, city? Actually, let's get to another game first because then that's the actual gonna be Just, the yeah. revolve. So, so United, let's talk about it for a bit. Everton destroyed United at home four zero. Yeah, it was it was pretty bad. Gary Neville, you saw. I'm sure you saw his rant. Yeah, he was. Uh, and I, uh, he looked like he was about to get emotional. Yeah, like, I, I, I thought he was like, gonna cry. Yeah, I thought he was gonna cry. To be honest, I, I don't think I don't think he has it in him to talk shit about United. But yeah, that shit was pretty he, bad. He, yeah, pretty bad. Um, I just saw nothing. Like there was, I didn't see anything. So much it was talent. Was like, uh, what was it? Martial's like eighty fifth minute chance. They put it up in like big letters. In Manchester United's first shot on target. And I was like, you meaning I've watched 85 minutes and <laughs> Manchester United has not gotten a shot on target. That's insane. I, all right. You have here, uh, well, do you think United are going to be looking for a new coach next year? I don't think so. In the summer. Not in the, not, summer. Not in the summer. I don't think so. I think, I, think they get, I, think, I think because of the fact that even with Mourinho, they were so bad. And now with, uh, with Solskjaer, they're just... They just they had the honeymoon phase, which let's be honest, a lot. It was the, I mean, they, the, the thing is, like, to me, I think Manchester United always had their eyes set on Sedan, and 
that's why they held off on giving Shosari the contract. And as soon as they saw Sidan give the contract, uh, as soon as they saw <laughs> United give Shosari the contract, they, they were like, Let's give it to him. I, I, I don't think they're gonna let him go at all. I think nah, he, I think nah. he's gonna stick around for a while. He's gonna stick around. Just because, like, I mean, let's be real. He said it. He, he even said it. Mourinho said it. Now he's saying it, and Gary Neville saying it. They're all saying it. There's some players on the pitch who don't deserve to be there, or who don't want to be there. I think one of the players is Pogba. Think I think Pogba has half a foot out the door. Yes, I think. Sanchez might have realized he made a mistake by going there. <laughs> <laughs> He's been and, shit the whole and, time. In all honesty, there. like Sanchez should have took the opportunity to go back to Italy when he had the chance. No, he changed his name. That's why he he can't go to Italy anymore. To Sanchez. Sanchez. Cause he's ass. <laughs> Yeah, no. Sanchez's so like gonna he, end up in in in, in France. Cause I remember yeah. like, he's gonna end up in in uh, La Tercera here and in, in playing in New Jersey. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's gonna be playing with Pando Ramirez. Pando right? Ramirez, yeah, for real. Uh, yeah, but like he should have just uh, the opportunity to go back to Italy. He he liked it there. He was loved there. I mean, he should have said Arsenal. He had a phenomenal season in Arsenal. All the way he fucking jumped ship because of Arsenal. I get it, whatever. But Joe shouldn't fucking you now, Alexis Sanchez, bitch. Well, the world revolves around money, bro. <sighs> Yeah, I know. That was no. a lot of money he would be turning down if he didn't go to Manchester United. Well, I thought it was an even swap for Mkhitaryan. No, nah. well, yeah, but it was even swap on on them. But his salary was going to increase. His salary when he was like um, three hundred and fifty. Yeah, he was. I think he was the he was the second most uh, best paid in Manchester United. Well, jokes on him and United for losing that money. Um, but yeah, all the wheels are falling off at United. Um, yeah, all these things saying their defense is in shambles. Yeah, like what. Well, Phil Jones and his ugly ass faces. So who who do you think they're cutting? I mean, they're gonna they're gonna sell somebody. They have to sell somebody after Mourinho, Ali, and everybody coming out saying that some players don't want to be there. They're not showing the ethic. They're not showing they want to wear the jersey. Who do you think he's talking about? Who do you think is out? I like who I said, do I think he's he's talking about is Sanchez and Pogba. Who do I think too? they're gonna sell? Lukaku. Mm. Mm. I think the ones that are to go is Sanchez, Pogba, and Martial. Martial. Because those all, are the three that I called. That in all leaving. honesty, wow. there is probably four teams that can afford Pogba. Barca, Madrid, five. PSG, <laughs> Bayern Munich, and Man City. He's right. not going to Man City. He's not going to Man City. He's uh, he's not going to Bayern. He's I don't think he's going to Bayern. He's, he's said it twice. And then Barcelona, Real Madrid. He's going to Italy. Like he like since since the World Cup, he has been speaking a lot more Spanish and done. A lot more singing and interviews yeah. and shit. So you know he's kind of leaning towards Spain. I, Real Madrid or Barcelona, who knows? But I want to talk more about that because uh, after reading some things today, I think uh, this would shine more light on what we would expect to see. So we'll save that conversation for a little bit yeah. later. Um, just because you'll see actually yeah, put it yeah. there. Um, so yeah, with this loss, they're going to be hosting City at home. How do you guys see this game going? In my head? <laughs> uh, in your heart and in your head, because I know your heart says one thing, but your head Shit, is realistic. In these games, well, just, I mean, I can't even issue. say in my heart because it's like it's, it, it hurts me to say. It. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel it. I, I mean, I'm, I'm there. I'm there. But what I want is a tie because I, mean, I, I can't see United beating City. Yeah. Not like, like they were playing against Everton. Not like the way playing with Everton. No, but I see City. Yeah. Marco. My my only my only hope is that that Brendan Rodgers is so pissed off at 2013. That he beats them when they come to visit them in Leicester City. So. Oh, that'd be a good game too. But did you guys have Leicester as well? Hmm? Doesn't Liverpool have Leicester as well? No, Liverpool has uh, Wolves. Uh, you guys have Wolves. No, they have Newcastle. Uh, you guys have Newcastle, Newcastle, Wolves, and Huddersfield. Yeah. Uh, so how do you see this game going? City has to take it, man. Uh, there's no way. Uh, it's it's I, sad seen, to say. Like I, I personally, I personally, Everton, bro, man. It, look, it, it benefits as Arsenal. It benefits us. It just makes a bigger gap between us and, and them. We're in fifth, they're in sixth. But the way that they played against Everton, man. Yeah. I didn't see anything, like I said. It was, it was, it was the 85th yeah. minute when they first got their first uh, yeah. shot on goal. Look, what he has to do is he has to actually come in and put in, like, Mata, uh, Martial, Pogba, uh, Lingard, Rashford, the other players that... All he, attacking, all yeah, creative. Shit, do for no both defense. Of them. No defense. That's what the I other mean, one's going to do. I mean, like, in all honesty, like, 
I guess Man City, you're going to have to play defense because like, they you have, have the ball to. All the time. Yeah, they have to. Like, you can't go like all out attack and creative. Yeah. You can't. You have nobody you to retain the ball. And even with even when Ollie, they, they, it's not like they, they go all, all out attack. They, no, they, no. Still, they still defend a lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man, I agree with both of you guys. Uh, well, more you because you said you hope for a draw. But I, I can see. Yeah, I hope for a draw, but I can't, I yeah, can't see. I don't see United winning this game. And realistically, I don't want them to win this game either because it's no offense to you, but I don't want to see they're too happy either. <laughs> um, <laughs>